What's going on YouTube? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great as usual. I want to thank all you guys for all again um, just the like awesome comments that you guys have been leaving in my videos. Um, I love the uh, opinions guys. I really really do. Um, it's really interesting like when you do this for a little bit. Um, I mean I'm obviously haven't been doing it as long as you know the big dogs out there but um like even then just like the small amount of time that I've been doing this um I noticed like a lot of change and a lot of shift in the way the consumer is thinking when it comes to buying the higher end uh TVs and what I mean by that is that the technology is definitely moving forward uh to a different level and people are uh actually catching on to it very very quick and um, I, I like it because it's pushing the envelope. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we get more of our money's worth when uh, you um, make those purchases. You know what I mean? So there is times where, like, you know, a company uh, can be pretty much dominating um, as far as premium TV space for such and such years because of their technology or reputation or uh, all the above, you know, they pretty much click all the buttons. They get so complacent that um, they really just don't make major improvements because they don't need to because they're already ahead of everybody else. Um, so when, you know, a company steps in, makes a new technology like QD OLED and um, starts really pushing the envelope and uh, selling it at um, a very competitive price, relatively speaking, um, I just really do truly think that, uh, that is the best move for all of us who are enthusiasts who really, uh, grasp, uh, that, um, that whole community and whole, uh, space of, uh, TV technology. I think it's a, a good move. Um, and, uh, I think we all win at the end. So that's my opinion on that. And, um, what I want to talk about mainly guys is, um, as you guys see, I have the 77-inch LG G4 on the left, and then I have the 77-inch Samsung S90D on the right. And, um, you know, we're getting to that point right now where, like, you really just start to know your TVs, like, you know, like the back of your hand and what they can do, uh, what their faults are. Uh, you know them in and out. Um their little, you know, quirky errors that happen and stuff. And um, I got to tell you, as far as like the overall experience and uh, smoothness, um, I would probably uh, have to go with the LG G4. Um, although it is not uh, competitive as far as uh, color goes and pushing the envelope in panel technology, um, I do think that uh, processing wise, you're not going to get really anything better than an LG uh, G4. Um, yeah, um, I know it's paired with an older panel technology, but again, uh, that doesn't discount or dis, um, you know, dismiss the fact that their processing is definitely top tier, number one in my personal opinion. Um, I have the, the uh, Sony A95L. Um, I do think that uh, the processing is better in the LG G4 over the A95L. The A95L is still my personal favorite of all time TV. Um, I think because it kind of like clicks and checks off all the boxes the most. Like it's like the best happy medium. Like it can do a little bit of everything and it's a QD OLED. Um, I do think that, you know, uh, hopefully when they come out with a new one that the brightness will improve without uh, sacrificing highlight detail. Like if they refine that, I don't think there'll be anyone better. I think they're the only ones that probably have the best chance of actually doing that next to, I believe, Samsung. I think LG falls short in that category as far as... Uh, you know, their algorithm and the way they process uh, tone mapping. Um, that's, again, just a personal opinion at that point. But, uh, man, I'm telling you, it's close. Like, you know, you have this beautiful uh, TV over here, the S90D, you got all that value. 
Um, and yeah, you can tell the brightness difference. Um, and yeah, there are times where they trade blows, but at the same time, you know, how can you recommend uh, something that's that much more expensive, like uh, the G4 over the S90D, when you get the value of the S90D? If you were like a friend of somebody, you would say, just get the S90D, it's cheaper, and, and just because it's not that much brighter, the processing is like still top level. Um, you know, it might not be the best processing, but again, we're talking about the premium space here, guys. So regardless, even if it's not the best processor in the market, it's still very high level stuff we're talking right here. So you got to remember that at the same time. Um, it does definitely doesn't mean that their processing is bad. It just falls short in some categories over one another, or vice versa, whatever the case is. And that's how it works. So, um, but yeah, man, um, you know, there's times where like I know for a fact that um, when you talk about like color vibrancy and things like that, um, there's just without a doubt, the one that gives you the wow factor by a mile is definitely the S90D. That QD OLED technology is something special, guys. It's definitely the future. It's definitely the game changer. Um, and... Uh, you know, you got to remember, this is what their third gen panel, they're still figuring out exactly how to make it better and they're doing it quick. So you got to give credit when credit is due. Samsung is definitely doing a great job and making pretty much the best TV that you can possibly get, especially for the money. Um, and I think they're doing it the best at the moment. I think LG uh, definitely fell a little short, even with their phenomenal new processor. Um, I just wish that they probably use some of that processing towards maybe like, you know, more color, um, try to figure out a happy medium there, maybe not make the uh, white sub pixels so, so bright and uh, preserve more color or something, um, but still have an overall perception of brightness somehow. I know that sounds crazy, but you know, I know they think of things like that too. But anyways, um, you know, the QD OLED, I have a feeling that like the S95D um, is like, if you're going to step up and get the best of both worlds, I feel like that TV right there is the staple um, of all TVs because um, I've seen many, many examples of its uh, tone mapping and... Um, highlight like details and just vibrancy and oh my god you know like that to me right there is what a picture should look like um you want it to just give you that glow that like you know like you see something in the stars or you see something like a shooting star you want to see that glow coming through in like a dark background or something and it's just like as clear as day like you're looking through glass or something um that right there I definitely see the QD OLED just killing it in that perspective right there. It doesn't even come close. Like, the clarity is amazing. Uh, but then there's other times like this, uh, you know, where you notice um, there's more detail, like fine detail uh, in um, the game, like, when you're, when you're playing. Like, as you can see, like, you can see there's sweat more. Um, in the LG G4, like you can see it glowing more, reflecting more. Um, you can see the details in like the cuts in the blood and stuff, like in the fight. Um, you can see like the little bruises better and things like that in the LG G4. Like those things, like that's what their processing does. So like you flip it around and you say, oh my God, what if LG uh, just you know, adapted or, you know, made something equal or better than QD OLED and they pushed it where they got the vibrancy and, you know, all that, you know, all those things that we were just talking about, but with LG and you're like, oh man, it'll make a killer TV. So my guess is that, um, I have a feeling that it's easier to make a new processor and made it, you know, with, uh, the S9, the S90E or whatever, it's a QD OLED in the future, um, or S95D or S95E, you know, like if they put a new processor 
and um, in that TV uh, that just made like the motion better, the the like fine details better, uh, the you know just all around better processing. Um, guys, I feel like that could happen before LG, you know, using a new technology. Um, I feel like they, you know, Samsung can do that in like a hop, skip and a jump one year versus, you know, LG would have to do a lot of research in years and spend a lot of money to create a new technology. Or even if they just were to, let's say, a comment, actually, uh, I read a comment saying that, you know, they were going to do the same, LG was going to do the same thing with their um, quantum dot technology um, and uh, make uh, like their own version of a QD OLED. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that. So why don't, why don't L, like LG, like if they do that, like, why don't you guys do that and come back and, you know, try to match, you know, and you already have the processing there and you already have the technology already established. You just got to mate it and that's it. Like, you know, why don't you guys do that? And that'll work. You know, you know what I mean? So, um, there's so many different theories out there that you can keep going by and going by, but either way, I just like the fact that, uh, it has these companies thinking in that perspective, regardless of whatever direction they go, they're doing it to compete against each other. And I love to see it because, man, the technology is amazing, guys. Like, you know, obviously you can't go wrong with either one, but when you're an enthusiast and you love, like, just paying attention to what's going on and uh, just, you know, you nerd out to this kind of stuff, um, it definitely is freaking amazing because these TVs are just sick. Like, they're ridiculous. They're the they're the sickest, dopest TVs that you can possibly have in your house. And, um, you know, it's like, it's a different experience. And, um, you know, I know you guys are here to, uh, um, you know, experience that through our eyes. So I'm just trying to, you know, speak my uh, truth and what I notice. Um, and that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video, guys. But either way, um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos, man. Um, I'll do more um videos you guys um please in the comments like please just uh request stuff i do read them all the time um just if i don't respond i apologize but trust me i read pretty much every single comment um that you guys leave and there's a lot of them and i do read them um so you know i try my best to um respond to every single one of you guys you know i do i try my heart out i'll even uh, respond um, to old messages that I, I like never responded to completely forgot. So, and I still respond to those too. So you never know, like I, I'll, I'll respond. Um, but anyways, guys, I really appreciate it so much. Thank you. And, um, hopefully, uh, you know, you guys leave in the comments what you'd like to see, what questions you have or what questions you would like answered. Um, you know, I can uh, either reply in the comments or maybe talk about it in, uh, the videos and, you know, just go from there. This game right here, guys, Undisputed, um, for the PS5, I got the early access for it, got the bundle for the extra, uh, content, and, um, man, I don't, you guys, I, I think you guys might know I'm a huge fan of boxing, um, uh, always had, have been since I was, like, a kid, um, grew up watching boxing, like, my whole life, uh, so this game, I'm just, like, so stoked to have it, I played, uh, a few fights, like three fights. I never played the game ever before, not even, um, you know, during the making of the game. Uh, I just got it, and uh, my very first time playing it the other day. And, uh, man, it's it's an awesome game. Tell me what you guys think about this game. Uh, I just did an AI, um, uh, an AI uh, versus here, um, as you can see, with Crawford and, and uh, uh, Mungia. I think in real life that would be an amazing fight, and uh, that's why I uh, put it on for this one, just because that's something that I would actually like pay uh, pretty good money to watch if these two uh, were to fight against each other. But anyways, um, I'm hoping that uh, you guys um, appreciate the video, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you on the next one.